So we want to, uh, Friday briefing is almost coming to a close, but before then I just want us to go back to the guest anchor, the lovely Esther Pasaris. Uh, let's just uh, get her thoughts really. Um, very many reviews coming up, you know, about you know, some of the things that you're talking about. Um, but what really, as we, were, as we wrap up, what really is the reason that um, Nairobians should vote for you come August 8th? Oh, because I have the, the heart for the poor people. I think we need somebody who genuinely wants to serve God mm -hmm. and be a reflection of God in the work that they do. You know, sometimes I look at the Adopt a Light project and even though it was taken away from me and I was never compensated, mm -hmm. I see those towers everywhere. I have the name Mamata. I might not have made money. I lost a lot of money, mm -hmm. but something good came out of it. All right. Now I want to do something with garbage. I want to do something with water and housing. Mm -hmm. I feel the poor people have been left for too long to fend for themselves. People are poor. I really wish that we do more than just drive through, just get in and see. You've got people with HIV that have no NHIF cards. I'm glad Jubilee picked it after I mentioned it for the first time, that we need to give the poor people NHIF cards. You've got homes that are orphanages running where kids get injured and then they're held hostage. We've got children being held hostage in hospitals and now even daring. I heard a case of a hospital up country that actually took a child mm. to an orphanage because the mother couldn't pay. And all these things happen because of corruption. All right. If we actually, Kenya is a rich country, it's a blessed country. If we actually dealt with corruption, then we would be able to reduce crime and have a lot more resources to help people. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the Jubilee government cannot deal with corruption. The president said his hands were tied, mm -hmm. he couldn't do it. And when they say, oh, this person is corrupt or this person is corrupt, mm -hmm. Kenyans are left like ping pong balls, not knowing what is actually going on. Right. We need a government that's decisive when All it comes right. to corruption. Um, and so the other thing, um, is, uh, it's, it's a notion, you know, that, you know, we've had, uh, you know, for quite some time that people say that, uh, can Esther really relate to the Wananchi wa Kawaida, you know, that they say that the, the, if, you, if uh, people vote for you, you'll have the majority of votes from the middle class um, going up. And, uh, you know, does Esther really connect to the Wananchi wa Palachini? I think I was the first person to go into the slums mm -hmm. to light them up. I walked through the slums I, and I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. I don't need security when I go into mm -hmm. the slums. I go in there, they love me. In fact, I relate more to the poor people because I think that's my, my calling mm -hmm. than I do to the rich people and the middle class, upper middle class. Mm -hmm. I relate more to the poor people because I feel their pain. I have compassion to do the right thing for them. All right. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Thank you very much, Esther Pasaris, for your time and for coming here on Friday briefing, and uh, all the best in the in the elections to come. We only have about 20, is it 25, 23 days actually uh, to go. All right. So we want.